Hello everyone, I'm Leon Thomas Lewick and here's your political news roundup for Friday, February 25th. A bill to limit the collective bargaining rights of public workers in Wisconsin is halfway through the state's legislature. In the wee hours of Friday morning, Republicans in the state assembly approved the bill. It was a raucous session with shouting among lawmakers. After the vote, Republicans left the assembly chamber under police escort. The measure now goes to the Senate. Republicans have the votes to pass it there, but they need at least one Democrat to have a quorum for the meeting. All of the minority Democrats have fled the state to avoid the vote. While this has been going on, legislatures in Ohio, Indiana, Tennessee, and Oklahoma have drafted bills to similarly limit the collective bargaining rights of public worker unions. Today was designated as a day of rage across the Middle East. Hundreds of thousands of protesters took to the streets of Arab nations, they're protesting the denial of human rights by their autocratic governments or calling on their leaders to carry out reforms. At least 11 people were reported killed in Iraq. Demonstrations were also underway in Tunisia, Egypt, Yemen and Bahrain. In Libya today, Muammar Gaddafi appeared outside the historic Red Castle Fort in Tripoli, calling on his supporters to retaliate against those looking to topple his dictatorship, shouting that people love me, Gaddafi urged his supporters to prepare to defend the nation and defend the oil, to use his words. Pro-Gaddafi forces were focused on the capital city of Tripoli, while the anti-government groups had control of other sections of the country. Another development late today comes as a blow to Gaddafi. Libya's contingent to the United Nations announced that it was defecting to the opposition. A spokesman said the entire delegation was quitting the government and will instead serve as representatives of the Libyan people and their free will. The announcement came during a meeting of the UN Human Rights Council in Geneva. In the U.S., President Obama stepped up his round of conversations with other world leaders, deciding a course of action on Libya. Obama spoke today with Turkey's Prime Minister. They voiced their support for the rights of the Libyan people. The White House says the leaders also discussed steps to protect the safety of their citizens in Libya, and steps to hold the Libyan government accountable for its actions during the uprising. In the meantime, an evacuation ferry boat left Tripoli today, carrying more than 300 Americans and other foreigners to Malta. The scene at the Tripoli airport, meanwhile, was described as chaotic, with an estimated 10,000 foreigners crowded into that facility looking to leave the country. That's your political roundup for Friday, February 25th. I'm Leon thomas Lewick. Enjoy your weekend. And stay logged on to RTTNews.com for more on these and other political and financial news stories throughout the day.